petrichor. You know where my stress level's at right now. Um, on top of that, it has been an incredibly difficult drive. Pulling this trailer through West Virginia is no joke. Um, I've got to figure out how to work that sway bar so that uh, I can take out every time a tractor trailer passes me. I get pushed around. Boys, how are y'all doing? Good. Okay. Um, and I'm doing super well. He saw he's doing super well. Um, we are just under an hour out, and um, I'll tell you, it's been a uh, very stressful journey. We left um, five hours ago. We still got an hour to go, but I counted on six. That's what I said. Um, so we should be pretty close to that. Um, I was hoping to come in a little under. Um, going through Huntington, West Virginia right now on our way to Carter Caves State Park. See, so watch this. Uh, 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 that one didn't have uh, Woo! My gosh. That's so scary. I'm going too fast. Alright, hold on. We'll have to edit this. Alright, thanks. Take care. Okay, Kentucky Carter Caves State Park, here we come. We got everything loaded down and we're ready to roll. And we're pretty much on time. Thinking we might be a little early getting up there, but we got big plans tonight. Underground kayaking cave tour. So let's check on these folks. All right, boys. Are we excited? Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. No. No? Why are you not ready, Sawyer? Where are we going? Do you know? Kentucky. Kentucky. It's only like four hours. It's not that far, <laughs> but it's going to take like six. <laughs> so, Daddy white knuckles it on the highway. All right. Thanks, I'm glad that's on the video. All right, here's our second tunnel. Once we go through this tunnel, we will be in By God, West Virginia. Excuse me, West By God, Virginia. This is the East River Mountain. The big tunnel is Big Walker Mountain. Oh, that was a big one. It's very nerve-wracking going through the tunnel, pulling this camper. You got the wall, you got, you can't, it's tight. But it's pretty cool. What do y'all think, boys? Got a car passing. In the white line. Always wanted to be a truck driver. I don't know if I can do it now. Come out here in just a second. Almost there. See the light carrying. West Virginia. See the sign? There it is, kids. Look. Big Ben. Parliament.
Okay, so uh, we are officially pulling out for the Outer Banks 2020 beach trip. Um, it has been a very interesting uh, past 12 days. I'm not calling anybody. We're making our official uh, first video for the Outer Banks trip. You're in there. <laughs> um, we're literally still in Mount Airy. Uh, we've never gone south with the camper. Everything we've done has been north. Um, so it's kind of interesting pulling the camper through this side of town. Um, and I need to find a bag of ice. Um, there's no good gas stations. But anyway, we have, uh, let's just say, seven hours in the truck. So today in itself will be an adventure. Um, we will check in throughout the day and uh, we look forward to this trip. We're very excited to get out onto the, the empty beaches. Um, although I got a feeling there'll be more people uh, than normal. Um, I hope that they don't run out of permits uh, to go off-roading. I, I don't think that they will, but anyway, um, we're excited and uh, we'll talk, check back in in a little bit. Well, we are finally on the Outer Banks. It is uh, just went through Nags Head and are heading south. We got about 60 miles to go. Um, hadn't been too bad of a ride. What do y'all think? Uh, the boys are, stop, stop, stop. Every time we get this video going, you have to start being silly. So uh, let's see if we can turn this. So that's where we are. We're on the Outer Banks. I got to get focused here. out of Hatter's Village. Um, we're on day three and we're going up to Jockey's Ridge. This is Cooper's favorite place. Uh, it's 91 degrees um, so we'll see how long we last out there. Um, it's just a bunch of sand so it, it's gonna be really 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 hot.
Okay, so we are just pulled out of uh, Hatteras Village and um, we're on our way home. Um, got a much earlier start than planned. Um, we pulled out at 6.35 um, this morning. Um, very interesting evening. Um, cooking macaroni and cheese in the microwave. I tripped a breaker, so I had to cut the AC off to continue cooking in the microwave. Um, so I cut the AC off, and as soon as I cut it back on, boom, I blew the tower and I blew something in the camper. So we had no power last night. Um, so while Coop and I stressed for about an hour and a half, um, finally. I packed everything up and uh, took a shower. Cooper took a shower. We both calmed down and we ended up going to the game room, which has a big sectional sofa in it and a TV and AC. And we went up there with the idea of charging all of our devices, phones, battery, uh, lantern that I had, um, tablets, all that stuff. And um, and the kids fell asleep. So, um, but we had planned ahead. We took pillows and blankets just in case. And so sure enough, um, we just crashed there. Um, I slept, I slept a couple hours, um, but kind of sitting up, uh, if you will. Um, so anyway, we didn't let it ruin our fun. Uh, it was another part of the adventure. Um, Got to deal with the camper now. Don't know what's wrong with it. But uh, we had a great trip. Yesterday uh, was just a, a fun overall day. We went biking, we went kayaking, we went on the beach, we went four-wheeling. I mean, we had a big day and uh, hated, uh, played putt-putt and did golf carts, uh, go-karts. Um, so it was a big day, big part of the trip, um, and I just, uh, I, we're both frustrated that it ended the way it did, but uh, that's what happens. Um, I'll let you in a little secret. This is probably the last time I'll pull the camper out this far. Uh, I do want to come back. I love it out here, um, but uh, it's just, it's a hassle bringing the camper all the way out here. They got little cabins and uh, hopefully we can uh, maybe rent a house one day. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? All right, uh, so seven hours to go. Here comes one. Paddle. 